Hey everyone, it's been a while since the release of Equipment 2.0, but many players still have questions about what's better to use. In this video, we'll take a look at all the new equipment, compare it to the old equipment, and find out what is better to use. Without further ado, let's go. Before the release of the Equipment 2.0, everyone was using the standard builds. Ventilation, Stabilizer, and Gun Rammer for normal medium and heavy tanks. And, Ventilation, Stabilizer, and Enhanced Gun Laying Drive for Autoloaders. There were also players, who used this. But about the effectiveness of such builds needless to say. Currently, such builds are still relevant, but the opportunity to make stronger builds for specific tanks. Let's begin with the improved hardening. For example, let's take the tier 10 German heavy tank, Mouse. Obviously, the improved hardening is perfect for this tank. It adds 10% health points and increases the durability of the tracks by 65%. This is very important for a heavy tank. Usually the hardening is used instead of the improved ventilation. Moreover, now you can select slot for survivability on medium tanks and tank destroyers. This was made possible by field modifications. And, this allows fans of active and aggressive gameplay to use hardening on their favorite tank, getting the maximum bonus from it. For example, the improved hardening can safely be used on such tanks as Badger, Object 268-4, Yacht Ponser E100, T110 E3, T110 E4, and E50M. And, of course, the improved hardening is ideal for almost all heavy tanks. Let's move on. Turbocharger. This equipment increases engine power and maximum speed. If installed in the mobility slot, accordingly, works better. First of all, turbocharger should be used on medium tanks. Because it's very important for them to have good mobility, the possibility to take a position, change the flank and all that. In general, set the turbocharger on any medium tank, you can't miss. In addition, it's possible to select the mobility slot for heavy tanks. Therefore, it makes sense to use a turbocharger on heavy tanks too. Moreover, I can suggest you two ways to use it. The first. You can use standard build with turbocharger instead of improved hardening. And the second. You can use improved hardening, gun rammer, and turbocharger instead of stabilizer. While the first variant is clear, the second one is a bit more complicated. This build suits heavy tanks with excellent stabilization. For example, Super Conqueror and T110E5. Stabilization on these tanks is already very good, and improving of mobility makes playing on these tanks much more comfortable. You can also safely use this build on the earlier mentioned tank destroyers. It's the top build for them, because you can install the stabilizer on tank destroyers. Moving on. Commander's Vision System. This equipment reduces the enemy's camouflage. You should set it in the scouting slot on all your light tanks, without exception. In the second slot you can set the good old-fashioned coated optics. And, in the third slot is a good decision to install low noise exhaust system, which increases your camouflage. This is the perfect build if you want to play on a light tank as a scout. If you want to play on a light tank as a damager, look at this build. Well, let's move on. Improved Rotation Mechanism This equipment can be used on tanks, that are severely lacking rotation speed. For example, the Barask. And you can also use it on tanks that you lack the stabilization. Personally, I use it on my Object 430U, instead of the turbocharger. So, we have considered the basic and the most important equipment. Now let's briefly discuss the other equipment that I don't recommend you use. Improved Aiming it's a pretty controversial equipment. It seems to improve your accuracy, but in practice it is almost imperceptible. It's a pretty controversial equipment. Modified configuration. On the one hand, it is very useful equipment on tanks with high criticality. On the other hand, in comparison with other equipment, it gives too little. Additional grousers. Increases hull traverse speed and maintaining speed. Useless thing when you have turbocharger and improved radio set increases the duration an enemy vehicle is visible and decreases the duration your vehicle is visible to the enemy again controversial equipment commander's vision system coated optics and low noise exhaust system is much more effective for a light tanks and on other classes of equipment it makes no sense to install it 
Well, thank you for watching this video to the end. I hope you found it useful. It's time to say goodbye. Good luck to everyone. And remember, don't play World of Tanks.